Right. Well, now you just heard uh, Jeff Henderson talk about the mosquito born uh, Zika virus uh, spread in the great state of Florida. A man recognized as the worldwide expert on mosquitoes is Mosquito Steve in the great state of Texas. Also a fellow radio talk show host on 1190 Talk Radio uh, AM or streaming live on iHeartRadio. And Mosquito Steve, welcome again to the Bill Cunningham Show. Well, well, howdy, Willie. You are a great American, and I'm glad to be with you. <laughs> glad you're here. We just had a big news story here about the Zika virus in Florida. I've heard some Olympic officials say you're more likely to be stung by a mosquito carrying the Zika virus in Pensacola, Florida, than you are in Rio de Janeiro. So <laughs> what does this mean now that the Zika virus has come to America's Sunshine State? <laughs> Well, first of all, it's uh, it, there's nothing to worry about yet. We still don't know if that uh, that virus came from a mosquito or some other contact. There's a case in Utah, the same thing. Uh, until they tell us where, exactly where it came from, we don't know. But you know, I'm reading stuff on the internet, and I got people freaking out. It's just amazing how people are just they're going to, to going crazy over this. Most people will not show symptoms if they get bit by a, mos- a Zika carrying mosquito. Say that again, because if you're a man or a woman, even a child rearing uh, ages, you're still, even if you get bit by a mosquito carrying Zika, it's no big deal, right? It's, it's likely that it's no big deal. Most people will show no symptoms. A few people will show a very light flu. It's only when they're pregnant or if you've got other illnesses. The guy in Utah, you know, had some, he was really old. He had a bunch of, he was sick anyways. He was on his deathbed anyway. So, so, uh, so that you really can't blame that one on Zika. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Just, and so, but we're repelling anyways, cause I'll tell you, like down here, we've got the neuroinvasive West Nile virus. Now we've got three victims of it here in north texas that that stuff that'll get you that'll put you in the hospital and probably kill you so you don't want to get the neuroinvasive west Nile virus but how do you i mean i could i don't understand why someone who's a swimmer or a track star would not go to rio because of the zika virus is it true that there's more new cases in america of zika than brazil um no <laughs> that is not true but but here's the thing it's I, it's probably going to shock you but people are selfish and self-centered and they they think about themselves instead of others and they don't think about their country anymore um you know it was a yeah. lot different when i was growing up you yeah. know we used to care about country and when you in fact when you uh, gave your word you stood by it and uh, all that's gone away so uh yeah i don't understand these people i really don't understand them dropping out of the olympics but i hear it's a mess down there anyway so well, there's narco traffickers. You can't drink the uh, you can't drink the water. You shouldn't eat the food. Uh, there, the Paralympics were held two weeks ago, and they had 78 separate armed robberies of Paralympians in wheelchairs. And so, if you're a wheelchair bound, or if you're an American and you stand out down there, all of a sudden you're going to have four or five guns stuck upside your head, and that doesn't count the Zika virus at all. I worry about human beings more than I worry about mosquitoes. I do too. Absolutely. You know, that's the only thing that kills more human beings than, than mosquitoes are, are people. So, so, so at so this point, worry about people. you know, mosquito Steve, but you live in Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana. What should we worry about here? Because in North Texas, you're worried about this, this other kind of mosquito. But I just played golf yesterday in the friendly confines of the Kenwood Country Club. I didn't get bit by a mosquito. Don't think about it. Should I even be thinking about this stuff if I live in Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana? Uh, you know, it'd be irresponsible of me not to say you should be at least be careful enough to wear some repellent. I would not wear DEET if you're going golfing, unless you can golf around in 45 minutes. Uh, DEET's not going to help you very much. So, so I would use something more effective. I need to send you some of my stuff. I, I really do, Willie. Yeah. But when we get done here, let me get your uh, the place where I'll send it. I'll send you a, a bunch of it. You can hand it out to your friends. They'll well, love it. You'll smell better. Well, I need to smell better now. Since you're in North Texas and since your friend Ted Cruz uh, committed political suicide last night, I watched him this morning in front of your delegation, the Texas delegation, and he said, well, some of my promises and vows and signed documents have expiration dates, got to use it by, and because, because Trump said some bad things about Heidi and Raphael, my wife and my father, uh, my promises are not, not operative anymore, and he wrapped himself in the American flag and said, it's okay for me uh, to lie. 
And, and I don't get it. I don't understand it. All that does is help elect Hillary Clinton, which continues this nation on the on the slide down the tubes. So what do you think as a North Texas resident about your U.S. senator violating his promise? Well, I want to remind you, he was born in Canada, not in Texas. Okay, right. That's true. <laughs> if he was born in if he was born in Texas, he would have been brought up better. Um, so I, I'm, I honestly, I voted for him. I did, and I, I'm ashamed to say that now because yeah, it was absolutely embarrassing last night. And um, uh, I thank God, you know, that the night wasn't a total loss. But but watching him, um, I, I just the whole thing is embarrassing. Honestly, I got to tell you, I'm embarrassed for Kasich. I'm embarrassed for um, for uh, Gingrich. Um, you know, I, I've got a crush on Laura though. Um, uh, but but the rest of the guys, Laura, you mean Laura Ingram? Laura Ingram. Yeah, she was good. Yeah. She was good. Oh my gosh, she was amazing, and she looked right in the camera and said and pointed at Hillary. I loved that. But that's guts. That's the kind of guts we're missing from these politicians these days. Well, all we're going to do is give the nation over to the third Obama term, which has brought us Obamacare, southern border wide open, incredibly high deficits, no positive international relations. We have uh, situations where the federal government is regulating industries like coal mining out of existence she's going to double down the first four years of her term she'll keep running to the left because she didn't want to have a primary opponent in four years to beat her in the primary so this woman's going to be nothing but a leftist as obama has been and so this country is going to continue to go down the tubes the next four to eight years and, and i'm not down in neighbor with trump either i'm, I'm going to vote for the guy the one thing I want to know, Mosquito Steve, is who do you want nominating individuals for the U.S. Supreme Court? Do you want Obama doing it, or do you want Trump doing it, or do you want Hillary doing it? Of those three, uh, Obama's been doing it without much success from my viewpoint. He nominates leftists. Hillary promises more of the same. We're going to have Sotomayor from here to the uh, for the next 20 years. We can't afford it. We can get rid of Hillary in four years at the ballot box. But but if if she elects, if she puts in four to five U.S. Supreme Court justices. That's the next thirty years. Mosquito Steve, we can't recover from that. No, no, we can't. And in fact, um, you know, there's a lot of talk about Obama having a third term and declaring martial law and stuff. And I have to tell you, I have thought this for a year, and I'm not one of the, I'm not a kook. I promise, I'm not a kook. But I've heard people talk about that, and and you know what? It would not, nothing would surprise me at this point. And so, yes, I definitely want Trump um, or some conservative making the decision um, and, and putting those Supreme Court justices in there. Because I am definitely afraid we're going to lose the Second um, uh, sure. Amendment. And, um, uh, yeah, I just, I, I'm very worried for this country. Our small businesses are getting killed. They're getting killed right now. We've got to do something to support small business. And another left wing um, office holder is not going to do us any good look at this way heller was a 5-4 decision that said on the second amendment it's a personal right to carry 5-4 decision the four dissenters said bring a case like that back again after hillary has been in the white house so you substitute scalia with another sotomayor that goes five to four you're going to have two or three more uh, you got four justices in their 80s they're going to step down there's going to be no right to carry under the second amendment we're going to fundamentally change the relationship between individual Americans and our government. The rules and regulations will obliterate more middle-class jobs, throwing more people on the welfare and public assistance, which are loyal Democratic voters. There's a long-term plan not to have a southern border whatsoever. We have 150 million living in Central America and South America that want to come here. You have the migration from Africa and from Middle East into Europe. You have the migration into America from Central America and South America. There's nothing to stop them, nothing at all. And Obama has done his part. Now Hillary's going to do her part. The middle class wages will continue to fall. Welfare will continue to go up. We're going to borrow more and more money to have a debt crisis. The U.S. military's got 40,000 layoffs coming by the end of the year as there's 40 million Obama phones all over the country. Everything that Saul Alinsky said would happened 50 years ago is now happening and i feel powerless to stop it because we have men like governor john Kasich and senator ted cruz that care more about themselves than the country and steve i want you to get ted cruz under control and i'll get Kasich under control we put them both in power and we can take them both out of power and it's but we're not far from having illegal aliens make those decisions for us. No, I mean here in Texas, we just you know we you don't even have to show an ID to vote. It's ridiculous. 
15 justices decided that 10 of them were conservative and yet we're, we're Republican. And yet we just, we just now, uh, you don't have to show any ID to vote. I don't get it. What is, what's wrong with these people? Why aren't they thinking? I, I don't, I don't understand. I really don't. Well, I'm, to, very, to, I'm very scared. If you're, I'm I want a young to, man. Well, I, well, we ought to say, look, <laughs> if you don't need an ID, why don't need an ID to get on an airplane? If voting is not is not as important as getting on an airplane, try getting on an airplane without an ID. Yeah, just, just try buying alcohol without an ID if you're in your 20s or 30s. All these things are required to have an ID. There's nothing more fundamental to democracy than the power of the ballot box to change the direction of our government. And if more and more liberals and conservative judges are saying you don't need an ID to vote, don't have to be a citizen. What that means is we don't have a country at all. We have no state lines. We have no federal. We have no southern border. And that's where we are right now. And Hillary promises more of the same. She's a liar, according to the FBI director, and her husband's a sexual pervert. How can anybody put a pervert and a liar back in the White House to give them four to eight more years to fleece the American public, take money from Saudi Arabia, who uh, brutalize women and children? It's amazing to me that more and more people don't see. Trump is an imperfect vessel. He's not the perfect candidate. He screws up a lot, but damn it, he, he's not a liar and, and he's not a sexual deviant. You can't put a couple like that in the White House, Mosquito Steve. And if we do that, we're going to get the government we deserve. And that worries me a little bit too. Yeah, well, we don't have any conservatives in office anywhere anymore. I, the conservatives are gone. We've got Republicans, but the conservatives are gone. I think Mike Pence. I, my, no, else. Mike Pence. How about Mike Pence? Did you hear him last night, Mosquito Steve? Mike Pence. I did not. I miss. I miss. He him. was good. I went to better. Good. Good. <laughs> was he really good? Oh, that's awesome. Good. He's a conservative's conservative. Ted Cruz cares more about his wife's feelings than the United States of America. John Kasich, our governor, cares more about his personal political goals, which is the presidency in four years, than he does about the country. He, Kasich wants to defeat uh, 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 Trump so that in four years the country may turn to him. But we conservatives are not going to forget wh when the moment came for choosing what he did in 2016. And, and I have a, uh, a, uh, a T-shirt sent to me by an Ohio delegate, uh, this guy sent me a T-shirt that says the following. It says, Ohio against the world. And John Kasich wants uh, Ohio's delegates tonight to wear T-shirts that say, Ohio against the world. So Kasich cares more about himself than the country, and that's a big problem. And why are people supporting that? That's a, you know he's got a whole line of people that are supporting him. That's what I don't understand. Don't people? Don't they do any? Do they not read anymore? Is that the problem? We're not educated. Yeah, we're not, we're not informed. We're not. You know, we live in the uh. we live in the information age, but we're the most illiterate politically. Have you seen some of the Jesse Waters interviews on uh, on O'Reilly? Have you seen some of the yeah. sidewalk interviews? <laughs> People have no clue. They know about Taylor Swift's fight with the Kardashians on the videotape, but they have no clue about what's going on in the country. And you would think Kasich and Cruz have a clue, but they don't have a clue. They care about themselves more than the country, and that's sad. It is. It is sad. And the less informed they are, the more likely they are they're going to vote for Hillary. Well, that's true. Well, Mosquito Steve, we got to go. I'm going to put you on hold to give you an address, okay? That sounds great. Thank you, Willie. Stay right there. Don't move. Mosquito Steve from North Texas.